Here's another quick video on um, how to how to create a word cloud with some sample data. So I'm going to go to my sample roster. Um, if I click and highlight all these rows, you see I got 10,000 records here in the roster. Way off here to the right, um, I have occupation. This looks like a free text um, job title, uh, and I want to know a little bit, bit about this. But it's free text. Uh, there's 10,000 rows. It doesn't look to be organizable, you know, if I copy it and if I try and do something with it, it's in columns and rows. So here's a nice easy way to get it into paragraph form. I'll show you two ways. First, uh, just insert a new column, go go to your second record and do a formula where you grab the first record, do the ampersand in quotes, do a space bar, do the ampersand again, grab your second record. Now go below this one and instead of doing the same formula, grab the row above it and do an ampersand and do quotes and a space and another ampersand and then grab the cell next to it. And what that will do is it will take the first two and then it will add the next one. So I'll do a few here and you can see what it does. So each time you drag this down, it grabs the next one. So if I double click this all the way down to the page, scroll all the way down to the bottom. If I copy this um, and if I load up like a notepad, so if I look for notepad, I hit paste. I have now taken all of my free text job titles and put them in paragraph form. So at this point, I can highlight it all by Control A. I can Control C and copy it. And I found this website, worditout.com. And if you go there and you click Create at the top here, I'm not affiliated with these guys. I, I, Wordle.net didn't work. The JavaScript or Java or something isn't working. So if I just paste this is the same information I just had in my notepad file, uh, and I hit Generate, this thing is going to create me a word cloud. Here it is. Uh, and you'll see here down here at the bottom the following words cannot fit in the machine. So it even says to try to fit more, reduce the difference in word sizes. So over here on the left, I ran into this earlier. Size, difference in word sizes regularly. You can flip this to small and then hit uh, read generate here on the top left. You can change your fonts. I'm just going to play around this regenerate. Uh, you can even do a few other things. There's a there's a number of free ones out there. So here's one way to, to do um, basic analysis of your words. Now, another way to do it is um, take the same approach. Take your data, your last row here that's going to have everybody's information in it. I'm going to hit Control N. And I'm going to paste values because we have a formula. So if I try and paste the formula, it's not going to work. So this is our paragraph pasted into one cell. Now if I just go to the data tab, sorry, data ribbon, and I click text to columns, and I choose delimited, and I select a space because I know that all of these are delimited by space, and I hit next and finish, what that's going to do is that's going to parse every single word into its own column. So if I do a shift, control, right, arrow, I highlight it all. You'll see in the bottom right I've highlighted 3,800 records. These are not uniques, and I... Uh, I want that. I, I want the duplicate. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to hit Shift F11, keyboard shortcut for new tab. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select Transpose. That puts all of my words into a single column. I'm going to insert uh, and add a header. I'm going to say Word and then I'm going to put Count. And I'm going to type the number one here a few times and then double click and drag that thing down. So then you'll see that the sum of that column is 3795. I'm going to highlight it all and insert a pivot table which will allow me to drop in the word here as a row, the count, which is just going to sum all the ones. But now I can go to this drop down and select more sort options, descending by sum of count. And doing that puts the highest used words at the top uh, and so on. What you can also do um, is you can conditionally format it with maybe like a data bar. You don't want to include the total in the data bar, so I'm going to clear the rule on that one cell. Now, if you look at it, there you go. I'm going to put a frame here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And you can see a little bit of a Pareto distribution going on. So then what I might do is I might do uh, equals this value summed by the total of these values. I'm going to put an anchor in the sum so that it drags down. Do that backwards. I am going to make a, I'm not going to divide yet, I'm going too fast this morning. So this should just be a number. 
whatever. And if I have it anchored correctly as I drag down, it's going to make a cube. Yep, there it is. So there's my cube. If I double click that, just go to the bottom. I don't want the total though, so I'm going to delete that last row. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, this number divided by control and go all the way down here and grab this one and hit the F4 on my keyboard to anchor that, that B cell there so it stays in one spot. So now this is going to show me the cumulative percent of all, if I double click that down. Now what you get, if you do another data bar maybe, do a red one this time. So now if I zoom all the way out, you can see that, uh, what is it, maybe the top Top 25 words are 25%, so this is a pretty even distribution. Top 118 words, so we've got 30, what was it, 3,700? How many unique words do we have? We have, we have 1,000 unique words. Uh, I found that by just, just looking at the row count. We have 1,000 or so unique words, um, but the, the volume of them uh, half of them, so 117 down here in the bottom right, 117 words, so out of a thousand words, that's about 11, 12 percent, something like that. 12 percent of the words um, are are 50 percent of the total words, and that makes sense if you actually look at the words, operator, technician, manager, clerk, repairer, etc. So that's a nice, uh, nice two, two easy ways to do some basic text analysis with your roster. Hope that helps. Remember, it's a video, so you can always rewind. Thanks.